All right. So you see that. So what's going on guys? As you can see, the back of my computer is completely different today. And that is because I'm gonna tell you a little story. What's going on everybody? My name is Isaac Mihangos. I'm a photographer and web video producer. In this video, we'll be talking about I haven't been posting and that really annoying popping sound that I was having with my computer. If you saw my review about the Mac, why Steve would be disappointed, um, you saw that I was having this really annoying popping issue in the back of my computer. And as I did my research, uh, I decided that it was finally time to take it to the Apple store just because the popping kept on getting louder and louder to the point where it was just really obnoxious to work in any heavy programs like Premiere or Lightroom. And yeah, so I decided to take it to the store before I did that. However, I did my research and I called Apple. I made that appointment. I said, yo, like this is not supposed to be like a normal thing for a machine, you know, this expensive. And I took it to the store and they said it would approximately take like three to five business days. And it took, you know, I waited three, three to five business days. And after they were done with that, I was, they contacted me. They're like, we can't figure out what's going on. So I told them like, yo, this is like not a software issue. This is like a hardware issue because you could feel like the flex, like right here in the back. So I believe, I think that they diagnosed that there was never any communication within that part after I told them that. And they, they called me back, they're like, oh, it's at the store now. And then they kind of gave it back to me and it hasn't had that problem. Hopefully it doesn't run into any issues. I'll keep you updated on that. But uh, they fixed it and I was really fortunate enough to still be within that one year window of the warranty for this computer. So it didn't cost me any money, which is really great. And I guess it's one of the testaments to Apple, their customer care. But if you don't, you're not within this window and you don't reach it close enough, then um, you, ha you might have to pay and it's really expensive. You know, these displays are super expensive and it's not very fun to know that this is a problem by the manufacturer and they're paying out of po you're paying out of pocket for their mistake. So if you are within that one year window or you notice this early, make sure to go to the store. Uh, let them know that and especially let them know that it is a hardware issue. It's the entire display that needs to be replaced. It's right here. I don't know um, if it will always be in the middle, but that's where mine was. And let them know that. Um, hopefully they take care of you like they took care of me. It took quite a bit, but it's better to have it done early than to like have your warranty expired. Other than that, uh, that's why I haven't been posting. This is my main machine. This is what I do all my work on. It's my life. It's my life. Um, but yeah, that's that's about it. Uh, I got some more videos coming up. But yeah, thank you so much for your time and your attention. My name is Isaac Mihangos, and I'll catch you in the next one.